searching for reversal formations, okay, in the shape of, I don't know, a pin bar or in the shape of a railway tracks or even a fake breakout as well, okay, fake breakout formation, right, with that uh, weak breaching through the key level of support and resistance, uh, even, uh, even in continuation patterns, okay, uh, always we would, so far what we've seen is to set our entry just above, all right, just beyond that key bar, that, that key candle that we use for our entry. Okay, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go back into our typical pin bar uh, formation, just to s explain things uh, here um, using this example. But again, you can apply exactly the same concepts on any different formation that any of the formations that we've seen so far. All right. So as I was saying before, what we've seen so far is to simply you know, uh, take our trade uh, five pips below the low of that particular candle, either waiting for price to actually move back down, okay, on the on the uh, trigger candle, this one here, and simply click on our sell button there, manually click on our sell button, or as an alternative, wait for uh, this candle to close, let's assume, I don't know, in there, and then go ahead and place a sell stop order at that particular level. A sell stop order, as you know, is a pending order at, uh, at uh, well, one specific level that you predefine. Once price hits that level, uh, your broker will execute your sell order and you will be effectively uh, filled in the market. Again, at that pre defined level that uh, you know of your choice well uh, now I'm gonna offer you a different a different approach or a, a, let's say an alternative and that's using limit orders which uh, well is also a pending order okay basically uh, an order to instruct your broker to execute you in the market or into the market at a price level different that the uh, that the actual current market price okay when you click on your buy or sell button I mean, when you manually click on your buy or sell button, your broker executes you right there, all right, at whatever the current market price is, all right? When you are using a limit or a stop order, it's just an instruction to tell your broker, hello, I want to be uh, uh, involved in this market, but not at the current market price, but instead at this or that market, uh, at this or that price that you predefine. All right, that's basically what a pending order is. Uh, in case you don't know the difference between a stop order and a limit order, there is a fantastic uh, resource link under this video. You can click on it, uh, read the article. It, it's going to um, explain all the difference between, you know, between a stop and limit orders. Again, both of them are pending orders. There's just a small difference in between. Uh, like I said before, now we are not going to be using stop orders, we are going to be using limit orders. Okay, so you may want to just uh, read that, that article and then come back to this video. Anyway, assuming you are already familiar with limit orders, um, like I said before, we are going to use them in order to squeeze tighter entries in our trading. Okay, uh, basically, we want to, uh, we are going to get ahead of the market, uh, try to, uh, you know, jump into the trade a little bit earlier and therefore at a better level. Okay, um, obviously, that's going to carry an extra degree of risk whenever you are getting ahead of the market you, and, and, you know, whenever you are not waiting for a confirmation, please mind that whenever we were using stop orders there, uh, we were waiting for the confirmation of the breakout of this candle before triggering our entry. Well, now we are not going to wait for the confirmation. And obviously, if you don't wait for the confirmation, you are getting a, you are getting into the into the trade ahead of the market, and that always carries a little bit of risk, all right, of extra risk. So, limit orders uh, is just you know, a little bit of an aggressive stance here. Uh, it depends on whether you are an aggressive or a conservative trader, but I just wanted to, you know, give you the opportunity to choose by yourself, all right? So, the, base, the basic idea here uh, is as soon as price, uh, this candle closes, let's assume it closes there, instead of placing our sell stop order there, we are going to place a limit order above current market price. Basically, what we want to take or we want to enter our short entry at a higher level. Um, uh, obviously, the higher we take our entry, the better, because once price begins to run down in momentum after this reversal, well, we are going to be making this much of profits instead of this much, all right? So, or these many pips in profits instead of these many. So, again, our goal here is to get as soon as possible into the trade so we can run for further profits into that trade, all right? 
Now, as this bar closes there, the question is, how early can I get into the trade or what's the same? How far up can I push my uh, my limit order? Okay, and the thing here, I mean, the, the real risk here is that if you push your limit order too far up, you may incur into the risk of actually missing the trade altogether because price will may or you know may never come all the way up there to touch that particular level and uh, and if it doesn't your broker will never execute that order for you all right please mind that a pending order is only executed if price touches that particular price level so if instead price let's assume you place actually let me just draw an actual horizontal line all right some, that's supposed to be as uh, as as price closes there, right? That candle. We go ahead and place our limit order, which is signified by that by this line. Let's assume you you place it there at that price level. Well, in this case, as you can see, price never retraced up in this particular candle, the candle that's meant to trigger uh, our entry, right? It never came all the way up there, and therefore our broker never executed that order. Uh, price simply went all the way down okay in our desired direction and since our order never got executed uh, it just remained pending in the cyberspace or <laughs> uh, you know in the uh, back stages of the uh, forex market but it never actually gets ex executed so you are never short you actually never get short into this market and therefore you miss this opportunity altogether all right so uh, the question remains how far can i push this uh, this limit order safely or you know uh, safely enough to have a high chance that uh, it's going to get triggered in this part well in my experience 33 percent of the actual candle that we are using to base our entry around in this case meaning the pin bar in itself well you measure the entire range and like i say 33% of that uh, range, uh, sorry, of that total length, let's assume somewhere around there, you can safely place your uh, your limit order um, around that level and more often than not, again, in my experience, 80% of the time, that level is going to be hit, all right, in the following candle. Usually you see a little bit of a retracement, uh, like I say, enough to hit that 33% and from there, well, uh, and from there, obviously, at that point, you your broker executes your order, and then you are effectively short. So you are you are you know you are you, you make sure that you do not miss any you know any potential down move that you you may get from from that point on. Uh, the absolute maximum I would push my uh, my limit order would be the fifty percent of that entire range. All right. The absolute maximum, uh, somewhere around there, 50% of this entire range. That's again uh, the maximum. If you push it any farther above, then uh, chances are you will never get hit. I mean, not you. They, <laughs> your your limit order will never get hit, and therefore you will never be uh, riding that uh, potential down move. Okay, so. Uh, anything, anything between 30 to 50 percent is usually okay, right? Uh, not certainly nothing beyond the 50 percent level. My advice, guys, just leave it at 33 percent. That's a rather sensible, you know, reasonable uh, level to place your limit order. Just you know, 33 uh, percent is is more more or less around there. It's usually uh, a rather conservative and and like I say, reasonable level to place your limit order. Uh, now, obviously, uh, before, whenever we were entering using a stop order there, we were placing our stop loss at 5 pips above the 50% range. Remember that? Well, now we can't do that because we cannot take our entry at the 33% level and then place our stop loss at the 50% level. It's just too close. It's just too close. Uh, if you tighten in your stop loss so much, so uh, sharply, so closely to your entry point, that's asking for troubles. Any random wiggle in the, in the chart, in the price, is going to knock you out. You know, it's going to hit your stop loss and knock you out. So the idea here is you take your entry with a limit order at 33% of the bar, okay? You place your stop loss right there, 5 pips above the high of, the, uh, of that bar, okay? And once price begins to trail down, begins to uh, drop back down into this level, okay? Uh, 5 pips below that level, then you trail 
your stop loss from uh, its original location down to either the 50% or the 33% if you want to be uh, a little bit more aggressive with your stop loss management policies. Okay, but at any rate, uh, recapping a little bit, entry right there with a limit order at 33%. You place your stop loss just above that particular level. Okay, uh, assuming price does indeed from this point, all right, from the closing point, retrace all the way up, you get hit, you get executed into the market, and from there price begins to move down, which is usually the case, well, once price ticks below the uh, the law of that uh, hammer formation or any other candle that we were using uh, in order to trigger our entry, okay, once price comes down there, you simply go into what what we saw on, a, on, on previous videos, once price is down there, you trail your stop loss down to, again, either 50% or entry level, meaning the 33% of this, uh, of that range, of that bar length, all right? That's entirely up to you, uh, depending on how aggressive or conservative you want to be with your uh, money management, uh, sorry, with your uh, stop loss management policies. Both options are equally valid. Both options are equally valid, all right? And, uh, well, uh, as far as the... Uh, Profit taking level location, everything remains the same. Uh, you close 50% of the trade at the close of this bar. All right. At that point, if you hadn't done so before, well, at that point you trail your stop loss to break even, and then simply let the second portion of the trade run to further profits, if the market so wishes. All right. But uh, like I said, you take your chances and leave 50% uh, of the trade remaining or open in the market for potentially for further profits. And that's basically it, guys. That's pretty much all as far as limit orders. Like I said, just another another option as far as entering the trade. Again, a little bit more of a riskier approach than simply waiting for a stop order beyond the, uh, the well, you know, the candle, the actual candle. But uh, again, sometimes it's it's worth it taking a little bit of risk, taking an aggressive stance because you can really get uh, or improve your entry significantly. So, okay, I mean. If you were to locate it at 33%, which is what I advise of the previous uh, bar, again somewhere around there. I mean, take a look at you know, uh, at, you know, take a look at how much you actually gain. Uh, being conservative using a stop order, this is what you would no actually, if that's your entry and that's the close of this bar, this is how much you would gain being conservative, meaning using the stop. Mm -hmm.